Gemini, what's good with y'all? It's your boy Pat with Readings of Sage. We're going to get this reading started for, uh, for the month of May 2021. I want you guys to keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates with what doesn't. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Also, feel free to check your sun, moon, and rising Venus sign for a clearer message of what could be going on for you guys in May. No wave, no vibe, no wave, no vibe. You guys got new waves and new vibes, I promise you. I don't know why, but I get that energy with this. So, let's see what the month of May has going on for my Gemini's in the month of May. Being this energy. You guys could become very attractive or... You're going through this thing where you're bringing things to where you're going on my Gemini's. In the month of May. Fourth house energy. This is revolving around your family, your home base, the support that you feel with certain things. Gemini's. Ooh. That fell. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Or a Libra. As well as a Taurus. With this Venus energy. And then with this fourth house, some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries as well, because it's Emperor energy. What's going on for my um my Gemini's in the month of May 2021? My Gemini's. Gemini's in the month of May 2021. Gemini's. Forgiveness and understanding. What else? Yeah, it's going to allow you to raise your vibration when, once you forgive certain situations and, you know, highlight. Yeah, this is also you can heal. Gemini. Healing. From what, though? What you're being protected from. Something is uh, a learning experience for you guys or whatever this is. Spirit. <laughs> what messages do you have for my Geminis in the month of May? My Geminis in the month of May, 2021. Details. You have this in reverse. I feel like you need to pay attention to what you don't understand about something or what you don't, you know, what you don't fully comprehend about a certain situation. For some of you, it's revolving around money. Others of you, it's revolving around a home situation or things that you need to be clearing out so that you, so that you can find the joy in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning house. Things that you don't need to be holding on to or whatever the fuck this is. Hey, what messages do you have for my Gemini's in the month of May? First color fill out. King of one, uh, King of Coins. You guys' money is on ten right now. Clarify this. Yeah, but this isn't your challenge. So you have the six of ones for your challenge. Are you gonna let stop something stop you from success, or are you gonna uh, move forward with it? Are you gonna let something stop you from success? Yeah, a lot of this is. You're a little fucked up. I feel like your money is what's allowing you to not be fucked up about a certain situation, especially if you didn't get the relationship you wanted. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra as well. There's something that's unbalanced about like what you do for people and what they don't do for you. You have the Nine of Swords uh, crowning this energy. I feel like you guys are really stressed. I feel like the uh, the success that's coming with you guys has been yeah inducing a lot of things. Be aware of like things that you don't understand with this Moon energy. Yeah, this is. There's a reason why you're not with somebody. Like a lot of this could be that you're focused on money, or the fact that you know you're not really bothering with relationships. I feel like this is really you focusing on money and not worrying about things that you don't see or something like that. What's this about? What's in your fears? What is Gemini afraid of this month? What is Gemini afraid of this month in the month of May 2021? Yeah. I feel like you're afraid of the gossip about like whatever you separated from or whatever is hurting you. Something's hurting you, and I feel like a lot of this is you don't want to talk about it or the things that you don't want to speak about. Why? Yeah, Hermit energy. I feel like you guys are um. There could also be definitely be a Virgo around you, so be aware of that. Like being in your environment, you guys are getting to a point where you're no longer withdrawing or 
something's not withdrawing from you, especially if it's gossip or things that like you don't understand about certain situations. Clarify this. Yeah. I see you guys want to get to a point in your life where your stability is what you really stress about, though. I feel like you want to get to a point where you don't need other people for what you do or whatever this is. Clarify this. Clarify this. What's the outcome? Some of you guys are working a lot. Clarify this nine of coins. Okay. Yeah. I see you guys working a lot. A lot. With this Knight of Coins energy and the Six of Coins, this is telling me that you guys are working towards things becoming balanced for you, especially financially. What's going on for my Gemini's in the month of May? Gemini's in the month of May. Yeah. Some of you guys were dealing with somebody who was in and out your life. Feels like you were wasting your time, especially when things was confusing a lot of you. The Seven of Coins energy, right? You're confused about, like, what you were waiting on, but nothing ever really happened with something. It's like something never really occurred, or it's like you expected more from a certain situation. So I feel like this is turning you towards money. This is turning you towards, you know, your own success. Which I'm not mad at, Gemini, what you don't see coming towards you. The magician, be aware of the manipulation, or like somebody really trying to get under your skin about what a decision you need to make about like whatever drama is going on around you, or whatever competition you feel. You could have lost interest in something and stopped putting effort into who you were. Or, like, really stop putting effort into, like, a love situation for some of you. Recognize where that came from. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a big thing for you guys. I feel like you guys are really just slowly building your way toward things becoming balanced out for you. Some of you guys are working on your investments. Things that you expect more to come out of. I feel like whatever lower your expectations, you're starting to put that more towards work. And I don't see nothing wrong with that, to be honest. I feel like that's necessary, especially when it comes to life. What's this nine of swords? It's like you're stressing yourself out about, like, not being able to express your emotions about, like, why you're not with somebody or, like, why something didn't work out, why you didn't get uh, the family you wanted, why you didn't get the um, the relationship you wanted from something. What's this uh, justice card in reverse? Some of you guys are not with this person. Not all of you, but I feel like that's a lot of... Something was imbalanced with the way you handle your money. I feel like a lot of this could be also the way you was working, right? It was really... More or less distraction. You couldn't handle love and money at the same time. You couldn't handle not being committed to something you was holding on to. And you didn't really get the relationship you wanted. What's this moon card going here? Yeah. Whatever is hidden from you, I feel like somebody's mad about it. Or somebody's, yeah, they could be dealing with another person. doesn't have to be. I feel like there's a lot of things going on in which somebody from your past, you keep going back toward them. But I feel like they don't really support you. Especially financially. You know what I'm saying? I don't see them supporting you. They could also be dealing with somebody from their past. But I feel like a lot of this, this is what you don't come, what you don't see coming towards you. The ace, the ace of swords in reverse. The three of coins in reverse. And then the ace of coins in reverse. Right? The ace of swords, the three of coins, and then the, um, the ace of coins. Some of y'all got issues with where you work or the people you work with because of lack of communication or Feeling like they're in the way of your opportunities and like you just can't get ahead in life because people won't really speak to you the way they need to speak to you. Or they won't really go out of their way to help you when they need help, when you need help. I feel like this is a lot of, it's really you focusing on yourself because you don't feel like you get assistance with certain things. You're not getting a lot of help. You're not getting the, uh, the real support that you need from other people. But I see you working. I see you working a lot. And I'm not mad at that, to be honest. The um the challenge is for some of you, are you gonna let this really stop you feeling appreciated? Or are you gonna st are you gonna let this stop you from um feeling like you can get the rewards or the accolades you deserve? Because I feel like success is really what you're moving towards. And I say that a lot for Gemini in my last few readings. You guys are really less focused on, you know. The emotional expressions about like what's going on with your family and your home. Some of y'all, y'all kids. And I feel like it's fucking with you, but it's driving you toward what you need to be doing. So keep that up. You know what I'm saying? I don't see anything wrong with you focusing on money because if love ain't working out, 
if, if it's not working out with your, your spouse, your, your, your commitments that you never got or whatever you're holding on to, recognize where that comes from. Recognize where that comes from. You know, it's like you, you need to see that if somebody ain't telling you what's going on or somebody's not really going out of their way to express how they feel about not being with you or not really express why this didn't go as far as it needed to go, recognize where that is. I feel like a lot of this is you're going to be balancing things out with yourself. Especially financially. I don't see nothing but money with this. I see slowly but surely you're progressing. Anything you didn't have, you're working toward it. With this energy. I like that for y'all. Be on the lookout for some of y'all for somebody to come through and offer you something that allows you to feel like you got a partnership, reciprocation. Some of you is a Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn. Does not have to be. I see Sagittarius here as well. Capricorn, Libra. It could have been a Libra from your past that you're trying to make a decision on. I'm like, why Why don't I see everything for what this is? Why isn't this really panning out for me? Why, why don't I see everything that you got going on? For some of y'all, it's a Taurus. Why can't I see what you got going on? Why are you hiding things from me? That type of shit, bottom of the deck. Lies. Miscommunication. Somebody's not being honest about what? Why they deal with other people, what happened with a certain situation, whatever is going on that made you feel like you're missing opportunities, especially with things that, you know, you let go of. I feel like there's something you already let go of that you're not talking to or you're, you're not really communicating with. And I feel like there's a reason why that's a thing that's happening right now. Understand that maybe your focus is to be towards success or more or less to be toward things that, you know, if you don't understand something then. Forgive it, and then to help you raise your vibration to focus more on work. You know what I'm saying? Just recognize that this is putting you in a position where if love ain't working out, your money will. <laughs> your money will. You're slowly moving towards something, and I want you guys to keep going. Keep going. This is awesome. I like this for y'all. This is different, but I feel like it's necessary. Your home, your family, the support that you need. You're attracting your own confidence from these people or from whatever you got going on. To be honest, this energy about like what you don't understand about something, I'm going to clarify this as well. But really, you know, forgiveness, understanding, raising of your vibration. That's a big thing for y'all right now. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I love it. The pleasure from taking chances on support, you know what I'm saying? Good times resulting from the impressiveness of your own family, your own home base. You know, attracting self-confidence to make yourself feel secure. That's what you're going through. You're, you're trying to build up your own confidence by focusing on money. But don't take that away from things that you don't understand or things that you don't know about. This is details going here. Yeah. Clarify this. It's like you stop putting effort in the end of something. Why is this? You stop putting effort into traveling. You stop putting effort into to moving around. Why is this? Because you took a break from something. You took a break from that. Whatever you keep revisiting, you took a break from it. You, you really got to this point where you got tired. This is tiring you out, especially with some of y'all not working. That cycle has been completed. If there was ever a period where you weren't working or where you didn't focus on your job or the things, I feel like it's because you took a break. Some of y'all couldn't even get to work. Some of y'all really had this thing going on where, you know, you were taking a break from, you know, things you haven't moved on from yet. You haven't moved on yet, and that's okay. By the money that you're just confused. The Seven of Cups. I feel like you don't notice that, though. You're just confused on why a relationship didn't work out or why you're not, why things ain't being balanced, especially with the options you have. You can feel like somebody got options, but you don't. And that is delaying your happiness. Chill out with that. Okay? I want you to chill out. Everything is going exactly the way it needs to. You don't need to be focused on things that are taken away from your own success. I've been saying that a lot for you guys. like so weird. I don't say that lightly, though, at all. I would never go out of my way to tell you, oh, yeah, you're fucking up your own life. No. There's something that you need to be paying attention to 
especially if you've been feeling distracted. Why I say distracted, I don't know. But I feel like I keep hearing that song. Call me crazy, shit at least you call it. Feels good when you let it out, don't it, girl? No, it's easy to get caught up in a moment when you say it cause you're mad. Then you take it all back and we all night to things be right. No more questions, no more questions. What's going on in your love life? I'm going to do a little quick spread for that because I got time. I got 15 minutes on the clock. What's going on for my Gemini's in their love life? For the uh, the rest of my or main in general. Gemini's. Can you take it up, pack? Love life, something ended. Why? Or a cycle is closing. Some of y'all were dealing with Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. What's this world card going here? In regards to their love life. What's this world card doing here in regards to their love life? Ooh. Yeah, some of y'all could have definitely been dealing with Scorpio. I feel like if something ended, you're getting to a point where you're glad it's over. Why is this? I feel, I feel like it didn't really kill you because whatever you feel like there was a miscommunication on, or there was like a really, some of y'all are dealing with the Aries or. It feels like there was something that you just couldn't make happen. Why is this? For some of you, it is an Aries. Or what's this Emperor doing here? What is this Emperor doing here? Yes, look at the miscommunication with a particular person. And I feel like it, it resulted in y'all not being together because of who you are or the things that you do for yourself. Overall energy. I feel like you're having a hard time. Yeah, you guys are going through... This Empress energy. This is exactly what I was talking about. Your confidence. You're working on yourself. I like that. Keep that up. Because it could have been a lot of miscommunications on who you were or the, the relationship that you're in. I feel like you need to recognize that. If things ended and you, you, you really got to a point where they weren't, weren't really over, and I feel like they're getting to a point where they are, it's because of either miscommunication or somebody uh, manipulating you. And it could be in regards to the relationship. It could have been somebody from your past who you didn't work out with, but I feel like this is making you pick who you want, or it's more or less making you feel like yourself again. I like that. What you don't see coming. You finna start going outside more. Watch. You finna get back to the point where ain't nobody finna keep you in the house, especially if somebody didn't support you, but you, you don't understand what's going on with them behind closed doors, whatever the fuck. You're not giving a fuck no more. You are going to be going outside because whatever has been going on with your money, if you had a hard time finding a job or if you had a hard time really finding a way to support yourself, it's because of all this confusion or it's really more or less about things that were hidden from you. And I feel like you can have a new beginning, especially when it comes to family or the things that you revisit, especially like certain family conversations or whatever the fuck. That's going to be a thing for you guys. And I like it. I like that for you, to be honest. What's the advice for my Gemini's? What's your advice? No, it's easy to get caught up in the morning when you say it, cause you know that you can get a pack. And you go all night to face me right. And then we fall up all night to face me right. I'm gonna read these all up right. Feels good when you let it out, don't it, girl? What's going on for my Gemini's during the month of May? What's the advice? Their advice for the month of May. What is Gemini's advice for the month of May? Whatever you were competing for, it's because you feel like it was coming back around or there was like a lot of competition. And if it's coming back around, it's really going to make you make a decision on something. Especially on like uh, people you don't want to deal with or whatever this is. So I feel like... Your money coming back up based off of this, especially with competitive natures. And I see nothing but drive. And it's like this is lighting a fire underneath you. Yeah, especially when it comes to you getting your money. 
some of y'all finna make a decision on where you want your business to go or how you want to get a higher position in life. And I feel like there's things coming back around that you're going to be communicating with. But I feel like a lot of this has to do with you starting new things or you feeling like this compete competition with the attention you get. Yeah. What you don't see coming towards you is happiness, love, prosperity, family. If somebody's lying around you, it's going to stress them out, not you. I feel like the lies could stress you out, but I feel like it's really more or less them. Especially if you feel like you're, you're, you're getting to a point where you keep getting in your head about the situation or whatever the fuck. Anyway, that's what I feel with this. Gemini's. <laughs> your reading is different. Fuck that. Focus on the money. I would do that if I was y'all. That's what I'm going to call this. Focus on the money. I want to thank y'all for y'all time today. If you have any questions, please feel free to inbox me. Other than that, y'all be smooth.